One of the questions I often hear is, should I freeze my eggs or should I try to freeze embryos? This is an important and consequential decision. And that decision is very personal and depends on both your relationship status, whether you've identified a partner or sperm source that you'd like to use, and also your risk tolerance. Freezing eggs by far gives you the most options because when you freeze an egg, that egg is not yet fertilized. So that is optimal for somebody who does not know her future partner or sperm source. It's also a good choice for women who have ethical considerations about freezing embryos that they may not end up needing. An important difference between egg and embryo cryopreservation is the probability of survival. Eggs survive the thaw 80 to 90% of the time, which is pretty good. Embryos though, survive the thaw 99 plus percent of the time. Frankly, we're shocked when an embryo that we freeze doesn't survive the thaw and we do an incident report. The egg is the largest cell in your body and therefore the most sensitive and fragile. So 80 to 90% survivals are expected when you freeze eggs. The other challenge with egg freezing is that we don't know among those eggs that survive, how many will fertilize and develop well to the blastocyst stage or to a baby. With an embryo, we don't lose that 10 to 20% off the top. And subsequently we see how that egg has already fertilized, developed, and if it's made it to a blastocyst stage. An embryo that arrives at that final stage and is able to be tested and found to be chromosomally normal has approximately a 65% live birth rate. So there's a much greater degree of certainty around embryo cryopreservation. However, the benefit of egg freezing is you have more options later on with regard to what sperm source you will use. It's also important for women to recognize who, have, who may have a serious partner and may be married or not married, that once an embryo is created, both partners must consent to its future use. With egg freezing, those eggs are entirely the patient's. The choice really comes down to your risk tolerance and your personal ethics or relationship status. Mm -hmm.